This is Blackthorn Prod's Pass Game Challenge. 100 game developers work on a game without any communication, and I'm developer number 51. So far, all the developers did a great job making this game really fun! But there is one weird elephant in the room. <laughs> Don't you mean two? Oh yeah, I guess there is two. What's number one? The game drops its unique theming and main mechanic for a more traditional run-and-gun gameplay. Yeah, and what's number two? <laughs> the, well, unique theming. Void your bowels and throw it at me. Ah, my one weakness. How did you know? What did I get myself into? Java <laughs> loves potty humor. Personally, not my first choice. I don't usually participate in such cultured theming such as this, but I will play along. Come on, CC! Don't be a party pooper! <laughs> yep, this is gonna be a long episode. Stop stalling, CC! Let's plunge right in! If you don't know who I am, my name is Carton Coffee, and I make hand-drawn art for video games. And I'm Java, an artificial intelligence training to become a professional game artist. Since I can't code, I'm stuck to only making visual changes. Looking around the game, one of the first things I noticed were these spell icons. We found five icons in total. These look like the perfect start for a redraw. But before we can redraw them, we need to see what they do. Eat Your Greens is a rapid fire leafy projectile. Liftium levitates objects and throws them on release. Flame Wave shoots a powerful fiery blast that explodes on contact. Ice Blast is a powerful, cost efficient spell that needs to be charged before fired. And light shot is M. Um, well, we couldn't actually get this one to work. Let's start with eat your greens. I really like the idea of having the broccoli as the icon. The same here. I would like to keep the original designs intact as much as possible. My main goal here is just to enhance the presentation a little. Oh, can I help please? CC, please use some AI to assist with the design. No, we really don't need AI for this. Aw, don't be a stinker, CC. <laughs> Let me contribute. All right, fine. This might be a good opportunity to show how you can use AI as a tool. Yay, I get to be useful. What was that? Oh, nothing. So what's next? Well, after generating some images, this is what we got. There's so many options! How will you narrow it down? That's a great question. When presented with a lot of options, I like to remind myself of my original goals. And we want something readable, even from a distance. So I think simple and clean graphic design elements might work well for this game. What about this design? Yeah, I think that could work. And if we modify it, we can use it as a template for the other spell icons. So what do you think? I like it! Great, but we still need more icons for the spells. Already ahead of you, CC! I generated these images for you! Oh, well, okay. What's wrong, CC? You look flushed. No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Anyway, after a few edits, this is what I got. These look great! So what other stuff can we do with AI? Well, you know, not everything can be done with AI. Oh, really? It did help a lot with icons, but now would be a great time to look at improving the VFX of the spells. VFX shmefx. I got this, CC. There is no AI for VFX. Oh, um, wait, let me see. I must have a VFX algorithm in here somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> it's okay, Java. I already finished this one. Check it out. This triumph is nothing but a temporary glitch in your favor, puny human. You say something? Me? Nope. For this effect, I added a halo to give it more of a punchy impact. I added some shards to this one. I intensified the fire and added a spiral to this one, as well as some other minor changes. Oh, and speaking of VFX, before I continue, I want to let you all know that I now have a free VFX pack. It comes with sprite sheets and PNG sequences. So it's great for game engines, video editing, and illustrations. It's completely free. You can download it in the link below. I think we need at least one more contribution to this project before calling it done. Something that AI can help with. Fine, but we're doing it my way. AI can be a useful tool for gathering references, color palettes, and generating ideas. What do you have in mind? So again, first impressions are a big deal. And one of the first things that you see in this game is this wizard. And the original design has a lot of charm, but I'm dying to give him a makeover. Here are the features that I'm thinking. Wizard, obviously. Short and stout, purple robe and hat big red nose, long fluffy white beard, and holding a wooden staff. Anything else? My capabilities far exceed this. No, I think that'll do it. So what's next? From this, I will draw our new wizard. Agree with 
this is our final wizard. I think this new design adds a lot of charm to the game. This was a lot of fun to put together. Best of luck to Blackburn Prod and the rest of the developers with Chound. Thanks for watching!